Government is what takes all of your money and gives you very little in return. That is not true. Okay, that, that's that kind of, I mean, it's kind of true. It depends that's on the kind of government. That's what taxes are for. Yeah, that, that is what taxes are for, but, but taxes are theft, children. Taxes are the government takes a part of the money that you spend, or the money that you earn, or the yeah. property then value of your house. spend it on useless stuff. What about this? Mostly, yes. I mean, they're supposed to spend it on things like the police. They're not supposed to spend it on just random projects or silly things that they have in their head, and they tend to spend it on kind of silly things very often. But as you get older, you will realize how, how little you like taxes. Yeah, he's way off base about that. That's Ben Shapiro torturing kids. Now, if you've seen this snippet, you probably don't know what's in the extended version. So the version that's actually going viral was deceptively edited, and it hides the fact that these kids are actually monsters. Yeah, Trump, yeah. he is the best. He was At least they're diverse though, right? I mean, they live on completely different streets in the same gated community in Boca. Hey. Okay, maybe not Boca. Weston? Relax, I'm half Ashkenazi. Honestly, it makes sense that nobody watched the painfully long 11 minute video this came from. Cause who's gonna watch an 11 minute Ben Shapiro video? You can't even speed it up by watching it at one and a half speed. Cause even then it looks like this. I mean, it's not just me, the kids even say it to his face. The Declaration of Independence is 1776. So right as we're founding the country, right as the founding fathers are founding the country in the Revolutionary War, we fought a war against Great Britain in 1776. Okay, maybe you do know a lot. What was that? And talk okay, fast. maybe you do know a lot. <laughs> and talk fast. Their words. Kids say the darndest things. So I bit the bullet and I watched the whole thing and it has moments like this. Freedom is the, not the ability to do whatever you want. Freedom no. is the ability to make good choices and have those pay off. A lot of people kind of think that freedom is you get to do what you want. So if you want to run into a tree, that's freedom. That's one way to define freedom. What he does not tell him in this indoctrination-a-thon is that without the labor movement, companies would have the freedom to put those kids to work in the mines. Eat soot, Braden. Also, if you watch the full video, you realize it's an ad. This video is sponsored by our friends over at Conservakids. Theconservakids.com slash Shapiro. That's theconservakids.com slash Shapiro. 15% off with code 15 Ben. Conserva kids sounds like they taxidermy children, and they might. But according to their site, they sell books that indoctrinate children to the wonders of right wingerism. That's right, everybody. Shiba de Bibo, Sheba de Bibo, Shem Nimo, Finding Nemo, Finding Shapiro, Nemo Shibibo, who wrote a book called Brainwashed about the problem of brainwashing our youth, is over here hawking books that brainwash our youth. Theconservakids.com tells children that America's values are under attack. Under attack. As if they aren't freaked out enough by the fucking mass shooting drill that they had to go through at school before their stage parents dragged them to playtime with this coked up gerbil. Conserva Kids sells books like The Land of Opportunity that serves children the idea that America is the only country where you can open a lemonade stand, when in reality, it's the only country where if you get food poisoning from rancid lemonade, the medical bills will bankrupt your entire family. It's also the only country where a small business like this doesn't stand a chance because all the politicians are in the pocket of big citrus. Honestly, the only successful lemonade stand you can start in this country are in these kids' rich neighborhoods, where your rich parents buy you all the lemons you want and convince you that you earned it. Exactly the same way that Trump's dad gave him $413 million and he thinks he's like, started a business with a small loan. And it doesn't matter how gross your lemonade tastes, your dad's gonna make everyone in the neighborhood buy your shitty lemonade. You don't have to register it, but if the poor kid across the tracks tries to sell candy bars to buy school supplies, your Karen ass mom's calling the cops cause she don't got a permit, and the poor kid goes bankrupt. But if your business dries up, oh my God, suddenly dad showed up with a bunch of Capri Suns infusing you with capital. It's not actually a merit-based system. Just like Shabibo's world of internet videos where leftists have to earn their views with like, good ideas and the right wing gets propped up with paid placement from the Koch brothers. And that's how your shitty videos make their way into my feed all the time, even though I am by no means your target audience. I'll be watching dog shit in reverse, cause that's hilarious. And then it'll be like, up next, Prager U, which is honestly kind of similar. And it's kind of similar to Conserva Kids cause it's brainwashing for adults, except it has more cartoons. Bye everybody. Why is my, f why is Michael Knowles in my feed? He's so happy but because he's so brain dead. At least Dave Rubin's not in my feed anymore. Even you guys realize he's dumber than the brain dead guy. Bye now. Thank God I was recording that.